Okay, so this is the last system test of this board the way it is with the BG12LX, the SD365, the P2RL, and the CHSWL all by themselves. Um, I'm going to be getting some new devices, so I'm going to be adding support for conventional devices, and that's really it other than switching out the notification appliances periodically. Uh, so I'm just going to go all out with this test. As you can see, I already moved this pool station over to the left a little to make some more room over here. The enunciator is now up there. Um, and I also moved these over. And I'm probably going to try to make more room here for the monitor module and some other devices. But honestly, I might just have the monitor module down here because that way I can have a smoke detector here and a pool station here. Okay, so I'm going to try not to use the panel for most of it, but I am going to need to do so for walk test because this stupid keypad is not functional. So I can't program the system from this device. But yeah, so here we go. We'll just start by pulling the pull station. And by the way, I have this microphone here picking up the notification appliances. So if you see that here, that's why. Okay. And of course, I'm laved. So there's the cable for that, which keeps coming out of my pocket. All right, three, two, one. Okay, as you can see, the P2RL is not on its usual tone, and this is now on code three. This is a bit annoying because it's on continuous. I've personally never heard an alarm in anybody's video set to continuous at that annoying of a pitch. We will re-alarm with the SD365 down here. 12 seconds later. Wait, I should probably let you guys see that for a little bit. Alarm, pool station, Firelight BG12LX. Now you would think I can scroll through with these, but no, and I really don't know why. Uh, there's the SD365, the BG12LX. I still never got rid of the LS. I don't know why it's not supposed to be there, even though it is just light speed and doesn't support clip. Yes, by the way, if you didn't know, the SD365 does not support clip unless you have the SD365 IV. That does support clip. Even though it does only support light speed, there is no LS in the name. I almost forgot to reset the pool station. I need my Silent Night key because I just put this single action cover on what is normally a dual action pool station. All right, let's do a system reset. We can shut the enunciator for now. Um, I'll just, you know what? Why have I never thought of this? I'll just store that underneath there. Let's do our walk test now. So I go to menu, programming mode. Uh, walk test, I believe, is in maintenance programming. So point program, history program, walk, walk test. We will do a silent walk test. And then I'll view the walk test log. We will start out with the SD365. There we go. As you can see over here, it says alarm smoke photo SD365. Now let's get our silent night key ready and we'll key activate the pool station. There we go. Alarm pool station Firelight BG12 LX. Now that we've done that, we'll back out.
We'll do an audible walk test. We'll view the walk test log. Since I already have the keys in my hand, we'll pull this. There it goes. Alarm BG12LX. Then the magnet. There we go. All we should have to do now is reset the system. So I'll just take one of my five firelight keys and escape out of maintenance programming. There you go. It'll do a reset. Just gonna do a fire drill now. As you can see, it just says evac in system. Trouble in system, drill active. Silence in system, act one and act two. So now we should just do a reset. And if you notice, I disabled the piezo in the enunciator because it was getting very annoying because anytime any kind of condition came on, it would just go continuous beeping. And that's just the most annoying thing, especially when this thing doesn't. If there's a trouble, this thing will beep in the one second interval. This thing just goes crazy. Notifier, Fire Warden, and Firelight enunciators do that. They, they just don't code the enunciators, and I don't know why. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.